Good morning, friends. I have my friend Moose with me. He is a blue and gold macaw. I want to show you some more baby chicks that have hatched. And, guys, I'm out of space. Again, I don't have room for all these baby chicks. I want to keep them in the house. It's, it's the middle of November, right before Thanksgiving. I have that big, giant brooder, stacked brooder, out in the birdhouse. And I have heat lumps in there, but I want to keep these newly hatched little chicks here in the house for at least a week just to help get them started. And so I'm going to make a, a tub brooder for them. So I'm going to shoot you to the clip outside and we're going to get that done, okay? Hey guys, we have more baby chickens that have hatched and I have to make a brooder for them. I have made brooders out of tubs before where I've cut the top out and replaced them with screen. And those work well. The ones that I have made in the past, I actually gave away to somebody who needed it. Um, I'll put the links to that video down in the description. Also, my friend Todd at Fox Hollow Reptiles, he raises rats, um, he raises snake food. And he uses tubs like this, and he cuts out uh, portions on the side and replaces those with screen. I'll put a link to one of his videos down in the description. Y'all go and give that a like and make sure you subscribe to him. Okay, so change of plan. I'm going to use the drill and we're just going to put a, a million and three holes in it. Yay. Um, I've got to have something on top of here to keep the cat out, uh, the grumpy cat, kitten, boy cat. Grumpy. Midnight, Starry, Dusty, whatever his name is. Grumpy Smokey cat. and the Bandit, I'm not sure, Grumpy Cat. Yeah, that's its name. He completely ignores the macaws and the parrots and everything, but he would, he would uh, hurt the baby chicks, I'm afraid. I'm not going to get any closer to this because it is pretty busted. Um, that was just a bad idea. It was a good idea, but it's a bad idea. It's just not going to work. So Can I do some? Yeah, don't push down on it because it will break, okay? But the, but the weight of the drill push down. Okay, we'll come back in about 10 hours when this is all done. Am I doing it wrong? I don't know. Are you? You want to do some? Yeah. Don't hit it so hard. This hurts. Yeah, I was thinking I should have done it from the other side, so these are the pointing up to keep the cat from laying on it. <laughs> that would have been genius. Do we need to put... Look at what's hatched. Put all these, Catherine. Jumpkins. No, these oh, are I'm cats. These oh, are... Baby chicks. Bionic squirrels. Let's, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, no, oh no my falling. goodness. No falling. Look at that. No falling look. out. We have three more Swart Honas and two. You know what? I have no idea what those are. Those. Here we go. Those are Americanas. They patched out of blue eggs. So those are going to be not Americanas. Oh, uh, Lord forgive me. Not Americanas. Those are Easter Eggers. So let's uh, get these put into the brooder and see what's going on, going on with them, okay? Let's get these put down in the brooder. Uh-oh, this is not a smart toner. This guy is, move your hand, move your hand, baby. This is, this is a Cuckoo Marins. Do you know how I can tell? Because the white dot on the head and the white on the breast and the yellow feet and this guy ah! next to it, that is a Swartona. 
that little bit of reflection you see on his wings, that's not, I'm not sure why that is. But there's another smart Hona. So let's get these put down in the brooder, okay? Now look guys, this is the big tub that we have. I have put a heat panel down inside of it. It is one that we get uh, from Ava Tech. Actually, Captain did all the work. I asked her to do it and she did it for me. Uh, this is made to go on a 10 gallon aquarium, but I think a 10 gallon aquarium is gonna be too small for this number of chicks. So here you go, Captain. Get these Easter Eggers, not Americanas. Put those in. And look, here are the two Svart Hornos, Svart Honos, however it is that you pronounce the, the name. Now these are tiny, all of them. They, they are smaller. You're absolutely right about that. And look, here is the, the other guy. Let's get him in. Yeah, now what do you do? Alright, now you open up that brooder that's up above you and you put all those chicks in, okay? Hopefully none fallen. Now tell us what they are. Um, oh no, I don't want any to fall in. So yeah. This, oh no, no, no. This is a Easter egg. I think that's an Easter egg. I think so. This is a... Svartona still pretty small. <laughs> I don't know why the world this is. What is this, Dad? That is a uh, an Easter egg, I believe. Okay. It's really cool. This one's different. Feel. Come here, guys. Don't be scared. Another Americana, I think. Oh. Last one. This one's a tiny little monster. Whee! Now, Dad, what do we do? Well, we're going to give them some food and some water, and we'll be done. You might have to cut out a couple of the seconds because my hands are Look, give some of this to Daisy and some to Timothy.